to study and this is the final exam you know the tension other exams were automatic uh, if you don't know what automatic means it means like free pass I did not have to write the exam and um, I just got an automatic pass for the exam but this exam I have to write it everyone has to write it so uh, I just pray God's grace goes with me because there are lots of questions above 300 more than 300 and I've been reading, reading, reading. You know where you are at this point where it's like, it's as if memory full, card full. I've read, read, read. I just hope I can retain what I've read. And I pray God will follow me. So we have 300 and something questions, theoretical questions. And then we have tasks. So these are like task questions. I printed them so that I can like write on it. We have a whole lot of tasks, guys. Then, apart from that, we also have x-rays, so a bunch of x-rays, a bunch of x-rays that you need to explain. This exam is tough, it's gonna be tough, but I'm just hoping that God will go with me. See, it's a lot of x ray and a lot of questions, so um, pray for me and I hope I can come back with good news. I have my bottle water here, not bottle water, my um, water bottle that is as big as my head and I've been drinking water, see, I've been studying, I just, oh God, please help me, at this point, I don't even want to look up, I'm not, I don't want to study again, like, I'm tired, I just want to be done with the exam, this exam, exam has been delaying, like, since I don't know, everyone has been anticipating the exam and now it's finally here. Please let's just do one command. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I feel so good, guys. I just finished my exams. Let's take off my jacket. It's so hot. Guys, I just finished my exams and I'm back home. 
god i look so stressed see can you see the under of my eye it's swollen see if you pay attention this side of my eye is swollen i'm stressed i'm tired this exam you took a toll on me like i'm finally done and i'm grateful guys old god old god old god like this old god like this old him tight old him strong because life Life's going to do so many things. It's going to turn on your own. But if you owe God, I guarantee you, you'll be fine. I just finished my exams, guys. Guess who is a final year finalist? Second year and I'll be graduating. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Put respect. Eh? Excuse me? Anyways. So now that I'm back, let me kind of give you guys a run through of how my exam went. It's story time. Hey, because I, if I forget, hey, let me start. So first of all, my exam started like 8.30. 8.30 we had to be there, 8.30 a.m. in the morning and um, by 9 the exam had already started. So me, I went there around like let's say 10... Um, past 10 not not so late but yeah past 10 so when I went I saw a whole lot of people outside I was surprised because I was like she really said the exam started at 9 I, I don't even think I went there at 10 I think I went there 9 something sorry not 10 but I already saw that like people have already gone inside they've already started answering and usually in Russia how we do our exam system is uh, viva orally how um, there'll be a classroom right and there'll be like multiple teachers, different teachers, maybe eight, different amounts of teachers, sometimes five, sometimes 12, lots of teachers. And then when a student goes inside, you have to pick a billet, right? You have to pick a paper and this paper has your questions. You sit down for some minutes and then prepare. When you're ready, teacher will call you and then you go and sit next to the teacher and answer. Meanwhile, lots of students are like in the classroom, maybe about 10 students are also in the classroom with you, also preparing, right? So I went there, like I said, people had already been there, and this exam was tough, you guys know. I had lots of x-rays to study, about 60 x-rays, and 300 and something uh, quest, theoretical questions, and then we had tasks. We had, um, I've forgotten the amount of tasks, but we had a lot of tasks as well for pediatric and hospital surgery. So I prepared, I tried my best in as much as I feel like that best was not the best 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 because I did not read the, all of the questions. I mean, who would read 300 and something questions, all of them, and even still remember? At least I tried and I surrendered to God. See, me, I prayed. <laughs> I prayed. I messaged my mom, I messaged people I knew. See, people should pray. People should pray. It's not because of one exam. I'm not going to film castle when I'm already in 16. <clears throat> so... I went there, my friend was outside the door, she was like, I should come, 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 come. Before you know, we prepared, immediately I came, we were prepared to like go in. So we, immediately I came, we were already like planning to go inside. And obviously I would like to sit down with my friend, blah, blah, blah. That's how we always write our exam, we go in together. So uh, we went in together and a lot of people were already in the classroom. So it's only a limited number of people that can now get in so the man just counted me and my friend we got in we sat close together you know i looked at my question and luckily for me i thank jesus yahweh always comes through um, my question i knew it my task i knew it and yeah i started writing so this was what i wrote down i don't know if you guys can see sha because the light is too much let's see I don't know if you guys can see. Anyways, my question was um, Joandis, obstructive Joandis. Um, I spoke about obstructive Joandis. See me, I even wrote down hemolytic Joandis, hepatocellular Joandis, wrote down everything I know. I uh, wrote down the tactics, the treatment for it. And then uh, my second question, because it's two questions, two theoretical questions. My second question was um, Henia. Um, it's a figure hernia classification and I wrote down the classification axial sliding hernia parasophagal hernia blah 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 and then my task my task was easy I knew it too purulent infiltration of nose with non sinus thrombosis I wrote about it blah 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 treatment and yeah it was just good so ha when time to go hands and I reach when I've written that everything 
You know sometimes you can write down even an eight and when you go and sit down with the teacher, they'll go ask him not to. <laughs> and I go and prepare, hey. The teacher was there, so I went um, after immediately after my friend. I was the next person. I sat. This man just looked at my question. Me and my question is uh, this thing. First question is, it's a figure here in your classification. This man just asked me classification. I said the classification. I do not even explain about the classification. You know, after naming the classification or something, you need to explain it. He did not allow me to explain. He just said treatment. I said treatment, fundo application, blah, blah, blah. He explained, he asked me what's the meaning of when you are doing x-ray. You can see the stomach with contrast. This, this, this. I first confused. I'm like, so what are you asking me? And I said gastroscopy. <laughs> see, me, I was just saying things. Then my second question, right? My second question was, Henia, like I said, um, obstructive drawing this like i said this man just asked me what he just went you didn't even ask me that was obstructive drawing this was causing it he just asked me can cancer cause obstructive drawing this i'm like i first think the nigerian in me and i say tumor can cause it i don't know if cancer can cause it i just say i say let me divert it and i say tumor can cause it you know ask me how blah 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 you know i explained and yeah long story cut short i passed my exam and i'm so grateful to god i'm so so happy you know this feeling where you're finally done with exam you can post you can be online see i've been i've not been active online and it's because i've been studying i've been studying it's not as if i've been studying 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 study, but i've been studying shower let me know lie <laughs> i've studied i even feel sick i feel pale i look crusty like see i've not been taking care of myself i've not eaten safe i need to eat now i sound like this they need to cook food for me like <laughs> Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I'm just grateful I passed. I can finally be active. I had pictures that I was supposed to post, videos, but I've just been pending them, keeping it in draft because I always, for me, I don't know how, if it's only me that feel this way, but most of my close friends know. For me, whenever I make posts during my exam period, I feel like I'll be judged, like, you're busy posting when you're supposed to be reading. God forbid if you're not feel, people say, they talk her. She means she was busy posting. She was busy doing modeling. She was busy doing this one. You have to say she read. So that's why me and I used to post. I used to be quiet so that God forbid to do in her faith. People can, you know, uh, sympathize with you. They can empathize and just feel like chai. Maybe she was studying. You can even like say, even if it's not study. But if you have been posting, be active. People say, eh, no, no. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll see you guys later in the vlog or if I don't, I would like to end up this vlog now and say thank you for watching this video. Um, this video of my preparation process for my sixth year first semester final exams. I'm almost close to the end. Um, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Please, I would really appreciate it. Make sure you follow my Instagram at doc underscore seed underscore. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.